Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will learn about Pandas pivot tables and how we can use pivot tables for data analysis, data wrangling, and data pre-processing purpose. And guys, really using pivot table, we can get quick insight into our data or we can easily summarize our data really fast from any data set. So most people likely have experience with pivot tables in Excel. Python provides also a same flavor using Pandas. And guys, pivot tables in Python and Excel are powerful concept you can use for driving useful business insight from your data. And guys, pivot table is very useful, simple, easy to understand. And using the pivot table, we can produce powerful analysis very quickly. Now let me tell you how we can play with the pandas pivot tables. So let me go to the Jupyter notebook. And now let me import the library of pandas. So import pandas as pd. And now I am taking a variable which is sample pd.readcsv. And this is my particular file path sample dot head so guys this is my data right where i have order id customer segment city and so on okay so guys pandas pivot is an important concept to look at the data from different kind of alignment and you guys know very well pivot extensively used in analyzing or summarizing the data okay so guys these are my column right sample columns fine and now i am going to create a pivot table so guys, first of all, let me show you the parameters of pivot table. So PD and pivot table. So guys, you can see the signature where I have the data, right? So you can place any data frame here. And this is the value index column, whatever the aggregate function you want. And you can read the docker string. So create a spreadsheet style pivot table as a data frame. So guys, using the pandas pivot table, you can create a pivot table same as Excel spreadsheet. Fine. And guys, don't be afraid to play with your data. Okay. Now I am going to create a pivot table. So PD dot pivot table. And here I am using the parameter, which is data, which is equal to whatever the name of your data frame. And simple, I am using here the index, which is another parameters. And guys, in the index, you can define whatever the column you want. So for an example, let's say I want a state. Okay. So guys, it will create a pivot table based on state column, or you can say that index and aggregate all the numerical values. Okay. Now let me run this. And guys, you can see here, we are getting state column as a index. And these are my numerical value, which is postal code, profit, quantity, and sales. Okay. In case you want to exclude the postal code. Yes, you can exclude the postal code. Fine. So for an example, as of now, we are creating the pivot table based on single column. Okay. So in case you want to supply the multiple column as an index, yes, you can supply the multiple column as an index. So for an example, so for an example, let's say PD dot pivot table. And here I'm using sample and index equal to I'm using, let's say segment and the state. And here I'm using head only few rows I want. So guys, you can see here, I'm getting an index in the form of segment and state column. And these are my numerical values. Fine. So guys, you can see here pivot table is smart enough to start aggregating the data, right? And grouping the numerical values based on segment and state, right? And now let's see other glimpse. So for an example, PD dot pivot table. And here I'm using my data frame name, which is simple, right? And this is my index. In the index, I'm going to pass again, let's say segment and state fine and guys i don't want all the numerical values right so i can specify which kind of columns i want so for an example let's say sales i want and profit i want fine simple okay so guys one thing you need to remember pandas pivot table by default returns the average of numerical values okay so let me show you in excel as well so for an example, this is my data. Now I'm going to create a pivot table. So guys, in the index, I was taking the segment, right? So let me take the segment. And after the segment, I was taking the state. And this is my the sales and profit. So by default, I am taking the sum of sales and sum of profit. Okay, now let me change as an average and same for the sales. Fine. And guys, now we can mess our entries for the consumer and state Alabama. We are getting these values and the same values we are getting here. So pandas pivot table by default return the average of numerical values. Okay. So how we can change the value in sum and mean, right? So let me copy this. 
So guys, here simple, I am using the aggregate function. And here I am using np.sum. Now let me run this. Let me import the library of NumPy. So guys, now you can see here, we are getting the data based on aggregate function, which is sum, okay? Now let me change here. Let's say field setting and sum and field setting again. Sum. So same value we are getting in Pandas pivot, fine. And in the same way, in case you want to count the sales, yes, you can count the sales as well. So for an example, you can provide the multiple aggregate function. So for an example here, I'm passing LEN, right? So we can count the length as well. And now let me change the column. So simple PD dot pivot table. Again, your data frame name, whatever the index you want, you can supply here within the list. Let's say I want category and what kind of values you want. So I want only the sales and in the columns, which column you want, let's say I want segment and here aggregate function for an example, np.sum, simple, right? So guys, in some cases, if we are having the missing value in our data, then what will happen? Or we can easily fill the null values, right? So for an example, let's say simple, you can copy this line and here you can use simple fill value and you can supply here zero. Fine, simple. So if you are getting the null values, by default that null values, it automatically convert to the zero. Okay, these things you need to remember. And really handling missing data in Pandas pivot table is easy using the fill value parameters, right? So guys, for this data set, this representation makes more sense. Now, what if, if I want to see some totals? So let me copy this. And here I am using the another parameter, which is margins equal to true and you can supply the margins name as well. So for an example, let's say I, I am going to supply here total, right? Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we are getting the totals row wise as well and column wise as well, fine. And now what if, if I want to define the separate aggregate function for the separate column? So for an example, let's say PD dot pivot table. And here I'm using sample index equal to let's say category and segment and here i'm using the values equal to sales and quantity fine and guys here i am using the aggregate function so for an example what i want here for the sales okay for the sales column right i want average Okay, so simple, I can use here np dot average. Fine. And for the quantity, I want some np dot sum. Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here for the sales, we are getting average and for the quantity, we are getting some fine. And in the same way, for an example, for the sales, you want average as well. And you want some as well, right? So simple, let me copy this. And here you can supply the list. So for an example, first I want np.average and the second is I want np.sum. Simple. So guys, for the sales, I am getting average and for the sales, I am getting the sum. So guys, these things you need to remember. So guys, now I am telling you the very important concept of pivot tables. So for an example, once you design your pivot table, then how you can filter the data. So for an example, let me copy this particular line of a statement and I'm going to store within a table name, right? And this is my the table dot head. So now the question is how we can filter the data. So when you check the type of table, right? It is giving me a data frame and now it is data frame, same concept will work. So for an example, let's say table, which is query. And here, let's say I am choosing segment, right? Segment equal to equal to what I want. I want, let's say corporate and I want, let's say home office, simple. Now let me check. Okay, spell is strong. So simple segment. So guys, you can see here, I am getting the data only for the corporate and home office 
from the segment column. Fine. So simple, you can easily filter the data from the pivot table, right? And guys, also you can create a pivot table using the query method as well. So for an example, let me show you the column. So sample, which is columns. Now I'm going to taking a variable, which is pivot and my data frame name, sample and query, right? So what is the benefit to use the query method? So for an example, let's say I don't want to create a pivot table on the entire data set. Okay. And from the few portion, I want to create the pivot table, right? But let's say the column name, which is reason. Okay. So for all reason, I don't want to create a pivot table. So I am taking a reason equal to only East. Fine. Simple. And let me enclose within the double quotes. And here you can use pivot table and here you need to define index for an example. Let's say index. I want state and what columns you want. So for an example, let's say I want only single column, which is category and values in values. I want for an example, only sales in aggregate function, right? I want only some and margins equal to true. And here I'm not defining the margins name. Okay. Now let me run this. So pivot dot head. So guys, simple, I'm getting the pivot table based on East reason, right? And here I have defined margin equal to true. That's why I am getting the sum against the each state. Fine. So pivot simple, right? I'm getting all for column and all for row as well. So guys, now the question is how we can sort the data based on pivot table column. So it is very simple. So pivot and you can use here sort values by equal to and here you can define the column name for an example furniture. Simple. So you can see here I have sort the data in ascending order. Fine. And guys, now the question is how we can visualize the data from the pivot table. Okay. So I am taking a variable which is sales equal to pd dot pivot table. And here I am using again my data frame name, which is sample index equal to let's say category and here values equal to sales and quantity and aggregate function equal to again i am going to pass sales which is np.sum and quantity i want np.sum fine now let me run this sales dot head simple so guys, now we can easily visualize this data. So for an example, let's say sales, which is plot. And here you can define the chart type. Let's say bar chart I want. And in case you want to define the title, yes, sales versus quantity. And now let me run this. And we can change the quantity to profit. Simple, right? And in case you want to line chart, so simple, you can use here line. So this is line chart, right? And guys, now let me show you the data once again. So guys, from this data, how to get monthwise sales and how to visualize. Okay. So for an example here, I am getting the column with the order date from the order date. We can easily extract the month. Okay. So guys, simple PD dot pivot table. And here I am using my data set name, which is sample and index. I am using the sample and the column name, which is order. Order date. So guys, from this order date, I'm going to extract the month. So for an example, DT, which is STRF time. And this is the representation of month. And I want values in the values. I want only the sales. And here you can define the aggregate function. So for an example, np.sum and plot kind equal to bar simple. Let me check what kind of error we are getting. So can only use dot dt accessor with date time like values. So guys, first of all, let me check the values. So for an example, sample and info. So guys, we are getting order date as an object. So first of all, we need to convert this object as a date time object. Okay. 
So simple sample, which is order date equal to sample and order date apply PD to date time. And now let me show you the data once again sample dot info so guys now you can see here we are getting this particular column in date time format right now we can easily apply this kind of operation now let me run this so guys now you can see here we have successfully plot the sales by month fine in case you want to sort this data yes you can sort the data as well so let me copy this and paste here and here we can use dot sort values which is by sales i want to sort and plot which is kind equal to bar chart i want to plot right now let me run this so guys you can see here right so in case you want to change this graph yes you can change so for an example let me copy this and here let's say line chart i want simple right so guys, now you can easily analysis how Panda's pivot table is an important concept to look at the data from different, different alignment, right? And really in a single line, you can create a pivot table and visualize it. So guys, this is your playlist where you can find all the Pandas and automation tutorials. You can save this playlist. It will help you a lot. Now it is your turn to practice and explore more as you can. If you have any kind of question around the pivot table and Pandas, please let me know in the comment box. In next session, we will learn or explore some other good stuff. Meanwhile, keep practice. Thanks for watching and have a great day.